stage at the Tibetan Freedom Concert, U2 is what you're hearing right now, and I am with a couple members of Radiohead. So, uh, <laughs> you're, are you a big fan? Yeah, I wish I could be there, but this is sort of more important. Um, you guys have, uh, do, 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 do many benefits? No. I mean, this was, this was brought up and I think this is about the only thing we'd agree to do, really. Yeah. Because everything else is a bit messy, but this is really, really clear cut. Well, I'm a real friend. I I'm a really sinking. Why was it important for you to do this one? Because, um, Tibet is the spiritual center of the world. And, and it's at the mercy of our disgusting first world food economics. And, and if we don't save them, then uh, we're doomed. <laughs> Now that you're in a position of influence, that that you might influence other people, like people that might not be aware of the situation there. I think so. Yeah. I mean, it's. I think artists, if I can describe ourselves as artists, are one of the few groups of people who are actually outside the confines of politics and of corporate structures and money making, and can be heard. And so we have to do it. You know. Do you find many people in Britain are aware of what's happening in Tibet? Yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of people. It's, it's quite similar to, um, I mean, East Timor was invaded in a, in a similar way. And again, that, that's, that's been very affecting in Europe um, and Tibet in a similar way, yeah. Are they more politicized in Britain, do you think, people? Like, how do you feel about the Labour Party having been voted in now? Well, one of the first things they did was banning the export of cattle prods and other instruments of torture, which have been used in various countries. So uh, hopefully it's, it's the beginning of a lot of good things like that. A bigger global perspective? I don't think travel really helps that much. It's more about information, it's more about bothering to read a newspaper. Um, I think America is quite a closed country. It's quite hard to find out what's happening in the rest of the world. So it's funny, it's supposedly a free country, but the media is quite restricted. So you've got to look, you've got to fight quite hard. It's better in Canada, obviously, but even there it's still a bit kind of closed in. The main solution is to realize that is to learn how to read the media and understand the media and understand that it's not just what they're saying, it's how they're saying and it's what's not being said and learning how to read the newspaper and how to watch television. It's, it's not a passive thing, it should be a very active thing. That's it from the second annual Tibetan...